Oh is it fun? my god. Thank you. Looks time. Before Zach got COVID, he had a romantic one-on-one -on -one date with Gabby, and we have got to get into it. So hey guys, and welcome back to Shared News. We're gonna be breaking down Gabby's connection with Zach on today's video. But before we do that, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new here, I am your host, Zachary Reality. And what a turn of events we had on The Bachelor tonight. I think this is the first time ever well, obviously, because COVID has not been around that long, but this is the first time ever The Bachelor got COVID. Now, we did see something similar in Gabby and Rachel's season where Logan got COVID. He was a contestant, but he actually was sent home. Well, they can't really send The Bachelor home, can they? I mean, maybe if it was a Clarentasia thing, but that was a whole nother story. So Zach ended up getting COVID on tonight's episode, but before he did that, he actually enjoyed a romantic one-on-one -on -one date with Gabby in London. Now this date was long overdue as Gabby has been a pretty obvious front runner since day one. And Zach and Gabby got to live like royals during their one-on-one -on -one date. They went into the head's home to meet Grant Harold, who was a royal butler. Um, Grant was literally King's Charles Butler, Zach explained, and they were getting the full royal experience as Gabby and Zach tried on fancy headpieces. They also got to meet some special dogs, some corgis, some royal corgis to be exact, which I think we all really enjoy a fun date with puppies, obviously. Um, Gabby and Zach had a lot of fun embracing time together. It seems like they were really vibing and hitting it off. I felt the connection through the screen that they really just connected. Like, they have a friendship, they have their romance, they were kissing, and I mean, as soon as they got to the night portion of the date, where they started to really, really connect, I thought it was pretty obvious that Gabby is a shoe-in to potentially win this competition, um, The Bachelor, to win this journey. Um, so what do you guys think about this? She got the princess date. So the princess date is a very historical date in Bachelor Nation where one of the contestants gets spoiled with a bunch of dresses and shoes and, you know, luxury items and they come back to the house to see the rest of the girls. And of course, all the girls were jealous of Gabby. I mean, who wouldn't be? She's getting all of these beautiful clothes and, you know, just like everything. So they go on to the night portion and basically the sparks are flying. They're hitting it off. Everything's going well. Of course, Gabby ends up getting the rose. So no surprise there. Um, the, the blue dress she wore, I thought was so beautiful and stunning. She looked absolutely amazing in it. It's probably one of the prettiest dresses I've ever seen on The Bachelor. Um, but this princess date. Now, last year, Susie got the princess date and she won. And the year before, Rachel Kirkconnell got the princess date and she won. So do we think that Gabby is going to win this season? Is she going to win Zach's heart? I see a connection between them. I think the sparks are flying. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. And we'll be talking about Zach getting COVID and the virtual rose ceremony in another video. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified whenever we post. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality. You guys can follow me. My social is on the screen right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.